Welcome once again to the CES International News Stage. I'm Stephen Graves from Stuff.tv, and I'm joined by Joachim Ickeland from Jabra, who will be walking us through the new Sport Pulse earbuds. Take it away. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. And thanks for being, giving this opportunity to talk about uh, hero balls in general, and in specific, uh, the Jabra Pulse Wireless, which is actually the first uh, hero ball in the world. Um, for those who do not necessarily know Jabra, it's a thousand people company, uh, which is a market leader, not just within wireless consumer audio, but also within uh, unified communication for business to business. Also within the GN uh, group is our sister company, ReSound, which we have a very close collaboration with to ensure that we have uh, everything covered for monetization, uh, quality sound, uh, as well as all day uh, wearing. So hearables uh, is a term which really came out uh, on last year's CES, where people started to realize that headset is not just about calling and about music, but uh, that's actually uh, things which can be offered much more in terms of use cases, like when you're working out. So, uh, why is that? Well, there's uh, hundreds of millions of users who are using headsets every day. Uh, only a small fraction of those are not being used for listening to music or doing calling. Uh, but some of these new ones, like the Jabber Sport uh, Pulse, is actually starting to utilize sensors since we have new technology and we have a setup where you have uh, conditions in the ear which allows you to measure heart rate, measure temperature, and so forward. Further, on hearables, then it also allows you to control situations, control technology around you. You will be able to be briefed about incoming callers, incoming messages. Uh, you will also be able to navigate uh, around unknown cities and get information without having to look at your phone every five seconds. So, in specific about uh, Jabba uh, Pulse Wireless, then, of course, it is a pair of earbuds which uh, can be used for listening to music when you are working out. But more than that, it's also a very precise way of measuring heart rate as well as a way of measuring your cadence and uh, step counting and other uh, kind of activities like that. So, of course, since it is about audio, we have ensured that the quality of the audio is really optimized, so custom-built speakers, we're also utilizing the onboard DSP to ensure that the base is, is, is uh, deep enough and that the clarity of the heights are good. Well, without having a solid uh, implementation, it doesn't help you to have any good audio there. So we ensure that we are using the best environmental protection standards in order to ensure that this is waterproof and sweatproof. But where uh, Jabba Pulse is really being set apart from other devices is that it's an all-in-one training solution and together with your phone, it's the only training solution, a piece of equipment that you need to be ensured that you are uh, entertained as well as motivated during your workouts. So, as said, this is a small sports computer and not just a pair of earbuds. So, it will be able to measure and inform you on a various uh, number of uh, activities. So, it will be able to say where you are and which route you are going to, e.g. through the phone's uh, GPS. And when you are indoor, it can also utilize the step counting function to find out how much you are running on the treadmill. Uh, heart rate, we use heart rate and to do specific heart rate zone training, meaning that you can be paced onto your preloaded uh, uh, sports experience, where I say whether you are in front or after your performances, which you uh, want to have. Cadence is another thing which we can uh, substitute here from another piece of hardware, meaning that you can also have cadence on your bike, not just measuring uh, how fast you are going on your bike, but also how many rounds per minute you are doing on your bike. And last, we have also put fitness tests in here to ensure that you can find out what is your fitness level and you can monitor it over time. Uh, it can be simple tests like uh, resting heart rate, but it can also be very advanced ones like VO2 max. So this might sound very complex, but actually having to control both your sports experience, your music experience, and your calling experience. Well, we have done it quite straightforward uh, and convenient. So we have NFC in this one, so you can pair it just by tapping your phone. 
Uh, it only takes a couple of seconds to get this on versus getting on a chest strap. Uh, and when you have it paired up, when you have it fitted, uh, you will say, see that there's only two zones where you need to control this. A sport zone where you can control, kick off your app, stop, start your uh, workout, uh, and also get instant readouts uh, on your performance. And then a control box where you can control your music and your call experiences, volume up, down, uh, changing track, uh, mute, uh, and so forth, and also set up uh, calls. So a big part of the experience is also our own sports app. And there's many sports out apps out there, and of course we have also obtained the features which are within those. But in order to have a more individual and a more precise uh, sports activity, we have put in some, some features in here. So where you want to set up a training, where you, as an example, select which zones you will train in, you will here get guidance on whether you are in front of your training zone or behind, and whether you need to come up. Also in your uh, analytic tool, you'll be able to see uh, with an overlay of heart rate zones whether you have, are pushing yourself on the right areas um, <coughs> or not. As we all know, there's a lot of sports apps and communities out there, and we are not out there uh, to, uh, to push them away. Uh, we are actually working with the sports apps to ensure that the Jab Pulse is working with as many as possible. Uh, so all the sports apps uh, which are supporting of Bluetooth Low Energy will be uh, compatible with the Jabba Pulse, that being Runkeeper, Endomondo, Map My Fitness, Strava, and Runtastic. And actually also areas where you have uh, equipment of, uh, of Bluetooth Low Energy um, devices such as sports watches or fitness trackers, they are supported here by Polar. So in summary, uh, Hearables is actually out there now, uh, e.g. coming out uh, with, uh, with the Jabba Pulse. Uh, it can measure a whole lot of things, but overall, some of these are enhancing your everyday life, some are enhancing your training situations, and some are en enhancing your work situations. And again, if you don't trust me, then go to thejabba.com and see the number of uh, expert reviews we have done on the Java Pulse, or go to the consumer sites of Amazon or Best Buy and see all the reviews done by customers so far. Thank you. <laughs> um, what are some of the, uh, the metrics that we aren't measuring now with, uh, with wearables that you think could, uh, could contribute to a better overall picture of our health? And how long do you think it will take for those technologies to be incorporated into? Uh yeah, Nikolai also mentioned some of these, like uh, the chemical stuff, uh, like smoke, de uh, smoke detection or smog detection. Uh, I think it will be like three, four, five years before we can do that. And um, as I've previously mentioned, one of the interesting things about uh, wearable technology is that it seems to represent a fragmentation of devices previously We've been cramming all of our technology into a single device. Now we're splitting it up. How do you see that uh, panning out over the next few years? I think uh, a piece of equipment like a hearable can interface to many ecosystems. Uh, and um, since we want to use our voices as control interface and not just pushing screens, which are not always available to us, uh, then I see us delivering hearables into many ecosystems that could be uh, home entertainment, home control, uh, but also into sports, of course. And uh, what's next for Jabra? Uh, I would say more of the same. Uh, we are, of course, all the time pushing uh, the limit uh, and the boundaries here. Um, and the Jabra Pulse is not just one product. It's a platform which we can scale uh, both upwards and, and uh, further out. Uh, we also want to ensure that uh, we are not just a single provider, but that we are working with these ecosystem out there, whether it's sport or, or home control, um, work solutions and so forth. And what are the challenges of actually building that ecosystem? Because it's not just about the hardware, the individual pieces of hardware, but about uh, creating a, a network of interconnected apps and partnering with other. Yeah, it, 